Fracture prints your digital photos directly onto glass, making your favorite moments come alive in vivid color. Hand assembled in the USA, Fracture glass prints are a unique and beautiful way to display and share your favorite moments. Simply upload your photo at FractureMe.com, select your size, and your glass print will be shipped to you, ready to hang with just one screw. Use code POD15 to get 15% off your order today. That's code POD15 at FractureMe.com. With MailChimp, you get more than a URL. You get an all-in-one marketing platform to help drive sales. With things like data-driven recommendations and powerful automation tools. Get started today at MailChimp.com slash smart marketing. MailChimp, built for growing businesses. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I hope you're doing well. Guys, I have some very big news to share with you all. Visa's CFO just made some very bullish statements because their crypto-driven credit card made $1 billion. And now he's saying, you know what? We're going to double down on crypto. We're going to build an ecosystem to get more people to use cryptocurrencies than any other currency in the world. Very bullish statement coming from one of the largest payment providers, credit card companies. Um, in addition, we have a former CFTC official saying the U.S. needs to approve a Bitcoin ETF. This, this is putting pressure on the current regulators in office, and I'm going to break down who he is and what he's saying. In addition, we have an update from Ripple, um, Ash, Ashish Birla and Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, talking about What's Ripple's vision for the token economy that's coming? And we've talked about the tokenized, tokenization of different assets and the token economy that is uh, where we're headed. And um, I'll break it down for you guys. Uh, we also have CZ, Binance's CEO, addressing the regulatory concerns that have been hitting the exchange, right? They've been facing headwinds and uh, what he has to say on that in addressing it. And Argentina is about to pass a very bullish crypto law. Before we go into it, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, don't forget to, uh, well, let me back up there for a second. This video is brought to you by OKCoin, <laughs> which has the lowest fees around. Be sure to use OKCoin to buy your crypto, link in the description. Also, be sure to sign up for my free weekly newsletter. It is 100% free crypto insights and knowledge. Now, heads up, guys, I will be interviewing Alex Mashinsky next week. Alex is no stranger to the show. I interviewed him two times last year, and obviously he runs the Celsius Network. The man helped create uh, voice over IP. Um, so very smart and making big moves in the crypto market. So if you have questions you would like me to ask him, leave them in the comment section. Now, uh, what is going on with Bitcoin? Because, you know, we've been tracking the macro level charts. Bitcoin right now on a weekly chart, you can see it's moving sideways. It's boring as hell. But uh, rest assured, my friends, we will see another breakout upwards. It might take the full month of July before we see that. But this is one of those uh, moments where we just got to be patient and look at the news of who's building, what's coming in. And I think we, we still have another leg up in this bull run. And we're seeing other indicators that are showing that the um, the consolidation of the price may be nearing an end. And we're looking at Bitcoin now, right, as a pulse for the market because all coins follow Bitcoin's move. That That's the data. That's the facts, right? And here, the um, Bollinger bandwidth, a measure of volatility calculated by dividing the spread between the Bollinger bands by the 20-day average of the cryptocurrency's price has declined to a two and a half month low of 0.15. The cryptocurrency saw big moves in December and April after the bandwidth fell to 0.15. So let's see how this plays out. That doesn't mean because it happened in December and April that that is exactly what's going to happen this time around. But we got to look at the data and trends and then come up with a, a thesis, right? A hypothesis here. And look, it could break out. And I think we're primed for a breaking out. But Sometimes Bitcoin in the market doesn't do exactly what we want it to do, right? Or what we expect it to do. But I do believe um, if we're patient, we will see another breakout upwards to new all-time highs uh, for Bitcoin and the altcoins, which will follow Bitcoin's momentum. And here's an example of just the massive building and adoption of crypto. Visa says crypto-linked card usage tops $1 billion in the first half of 2021. 
Visa CFO Vasant Prabhu, if I'm saying that right, told CNBC, we are doing a lot to create an ecosystem that makes cryptocurrency more usable and more like any other currency. The company is currently partnered with Coinbase, Circle, and BlockFi to allow its cards to access crypto wallets on those platforms. Visa said digital payments such as cryptocurrency have the potential to disrupt $18 trillion of annual consumer spending with cash and checks. Do you see what's coming here, my friends? They're making money and they're about to double down. They're about to create this ecosystem and they want to make cryptocurrency more usable than any or, or and excuse me, more usable and more like any other cryptocurrency. So they are pushing cryptocurrency above their, their plan is and, and the end goal is to have cryptocurrency be used more than any other currency. Huge news. And this is being published here by the CNBC. I'm not making this up. I didn't dream this up. This is what's happening. These people are putting the money in, they're investing, and we are seeing game theory play out. We're seeing Metcalf's uh, law play out, the network effect, right? And and it's all coming to a head here to mass adoption and growth. And guess what? The prices will follow. As If you've been subscribed to this channel, and look, I'm not saying you this is the only channel you should be subscribed to. You should listen to different voices. But one of the things that we've covered over the years is exactly what the companies and the people building are doing, right? Not just uh, a speculation, but rather, hey, this company just put a billion dollars into this crypto fund, and this is what's happening, right? Actual facts. And that is what you want to hang your hat on, right? Because price will be volatile, but price will increase over time. If you go back and study the dot com boom, um, Amazon and, and Google's and so forth in the two thousand, excuse me, in the two thousand dot com crash, the prices drop some over fifty percent, some over eighty percent, right? And you had to live through that. But if you held and you saw the potential and you saw the network effect and the game theory that was taking place, then you made money. So, just some food for thought there, guys. Now. Check this out. Uh, former CFTC chair Timothy Massad says the U.S. should approve a Bitcoin ETF to enhance the market's transparency and integrity. Yes, we need a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, I've been talking about this for a long time. I don't think people realize how big ETFs are. And it starts with Bitcoin. And guess what they're going to do? Create an Ethereum ETF and an XRP ETF. That is what's coming, um, and this will allow more money to be ushered into the market. There's a lot of retirement income and funds that can't touch crypto directly. If they go through an ETF, boy, oh boy, lots of money. Floodgates will be open, guys. Um, I've interviewed um, some folks about this. You guys may have seen my interview with Matt Hogan out of uh, Bitwise. That you know They've thrown their hat in the ring for an ETF, and he's, he's a guy who ran ETF.com and uh, anyway, before I go in, into the rabbit hole of ETFs, this is bullish. Um, and you may say, well, so what? He just said a statement. He just made a statement. Well, you have to understand how the game of politics and press and public uh, mentions of things, what it does, right? It puts pressure on the regulators, on Congress and all these folks to get things moving. You have people who worked at the government. They come out and they say this. I, and I think we've seen a lot of uh, government officials who have left their positions and and they're pro crypto right but many times the people in the seats they can't say that they can't come out and take a take a side now with the exception of maybe hester purse of the sec she's been beating the drum for uh getting a bitcoin etf approved as well now uh ripple ceo brad garlinghouse here he shouted out um ashish burla and he says ashish lays out our vision for ripple net to serve enterprises in an increasingly tokenized world we're building the future of crypto re- enabled financial services one block at a time. Now, a couple things tokenization, the tokenized world. What have I talked about for years on this channel? Real estate's going to be tokenized. Obviously, you have the tokenization of fiat currencies and CBDCs, and securities are going to get tokenized. Every single thing, the world is going to be on the blockchain, my friends, and stocks and everything we're already starting to see, they're getting tokenized where you can have 24 7. Uh, trading you can buy fractional a part of a you know a share that's tokenized so on and so forth now here's what ashish had to say and it it's something that's mapped out in a article on their website 
He said, after nearly a decade in crypto, I'm amazed at how quickly the industry evolves. It's growing block after block, pun intended, like Legos that can be put together to form infinite use cases. At Ripple, we're taking that philosophy to heart. Uh, he says, for years, Ripple focused on building and deploying RippleNet to solve the many frictions with the cross-border payments. It's no surprise that so many fintechs and crypto companies are focused on cross-border payments. FX margins were the highest here. Many fintechs improve the front end and optimize local liquidity pools, but with crypto, you can finally update the back end. You can source FX 24 uh, 24 7 from crypto, lots of global liquidity now, and settle funds in all in one step, while traditionally uh, these would be two distinct steps. Um, So you know, Ripple is trying to expand their, their utility and adoption, and obviously a lot of that involves XRP. So the world is becoming more tokenized. That much is abundantly clear. All signs point to DeFi becoming as ubiquitous as web or mobile have become in enabling the flow of information, which requires healthy liquidity for all kinds of assets. To build this, excuse me, to build this future, we're evolving RippleNet to provide more than just crypto-enabled cross-border or instant cross-border payments. It's about being the bridge between a growing world of tokenized services and traditional enterprises that want to enter the space. More to come. Now, you guys have seen my interview with Brad Garlinghouse from two months ago, as well as uh, Ripple CTO David Schwartz. And obviously, they're looking to help central banks build on the XRP ledger, build their CBDCs on the XRP ledger. Um, I think they're trying to bring NFT ca- uh, capability and more DeFi and so forth to the XRP ledger, which will benefit XRP. And as you guys know, XRP is my number one holding, Bitcoin my number th- two, and uh, Ethereum my number three. Those of you who are channel members have direct access to my Google Sheet Um and uh, you get the breakdown of my portfolio as it is. So I update that from time to time as I increase my allocations or decrease where possible. So um, things are moving ahead here, and this is great to see. They have you have to keep evolving in this crypto market, right? They need to do. Uh, X, Ripple needs to bring more capabilities to the XRP ledger, and I think they're trying to do that. Now, Binance CEO CZ responds to global regulatory pressure, calling compliance a journey. He said, we are seeing wider adoption of cryptocurrencies globally and the need for clear regulatory frameworks in different countries. Um, Now, I did a video just um, a day or two, yeah, a day ago about is Binance in trouble? Because it seems regulatory hits are coming from everywhere. Barclay said, hey, we're not funding your customer accounts for uh, the futures markets, I think it is. Well, as I stated in that video, I don't think Binance is in trouble or they're going to go out of business. Will they need to get licenses and get fully regulated? Yes. Um, As I said, the Wall Street, big banks, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley are not going to have Binance running in the wild, wild west here, right? Those days are over. And with uh, KYC, AML, and and all the regulatory, all the governments on board with with regulation, um, I think Binance is going to have to get its ducks in in a row here and, and make sure things are cleaned up or they will be banned in certain countries. But I think they will be okay as an exchange. They are the largest exchange worldwide. So uh, I think CZ, I don't think they're worried about it, but they'll need, they're going to take some hits and they're going to have to fix some things. Um, But I think they'll be okay in the long run. Now check this out. Argentine lawmaker introduces bills for workers to be paid in crypto. The proposal may help Argentinians in the export business avoid heavy taxes from foreign currency payments. Uh, this is big. And, and we saw with El Salvador that that sparked and lit a fire under the asses of other countries, right? Mexico, Brazil, Paraguay, and all these officials and, and government officials from different countries. All of a sudden, we're like, yeah, we're, we're going to introduce some crypto regulations and try to get things going, right? So in a Tuesday tweet, Argentine Chamber of Deputies member Jose Luis Ramon said his proposed crypto bill would apply to anyone working as an exporter of services and those who depend on an employer for an in- for income. Should the legislation pass, it would allow such workers uh, the choice of receiving a full or partial salary in crypto or Argentine pesos. Guys, game theory playing out. And I think, once again, you have one country that does this, others will follow suit. And places where they have, you know, fiat currencies that are debased and, and mean uh, just hyperinflation, right? Money's garbage, Venezuela, Argentina, and so forth. 
well, I think they, they very much can use crypto and they need it. And uh, it's it's only a matter of time because <laughs> their, their money is literally garbage. And uh, it's not the people's fault. It's the government's mismanage and the system that they have abused. And I think crypto can help fix that. So great to see this. And once again, game theory, I think um, we will see other countries follow suit. And Metcalf's law is playing out with more adoption. Uh, the network effect and that will yield higher values higher prices my friends if you don't understand game theory or metcalf's law i suggest you go read up on it because it applies not just to crypto but for example why does facebook uh have the value it has you remember at one point facebook wasn't monetized but it had value because of the network effect, the adoption, the growth, the usage of the platform. And now you're seeing money is in the same way Facebook brought a community and and socialization, if you want to say, let's call it that, uh, to a network. You now have uh, Bitcoin uh, bringing money to a network, right? Bitcoin and other cryptos, obviously, um, in a network uh, way which would never existed before right money was never in a network and now it is so we are certainly in a paradigm shift my friends and like i said go study those those um respective principles and theories and i think you'll understand what's happening in crypto much better so leave your thoughts and comments below hit the thumbs up button share this video uh, please tell your friends and family about this channel if they want to learn about crypto and obviously we keep it factual base and i will talk to you guys later With MailChimp, you get more than a URL. You get an all-in-one marketing platform to help drive sales. With things like data-driven recommendations and powerful automation tools. Get started today at MailChimp.com slash smart marketing. MailChimp, built for growing businesses. With MailChimp, you get more than a URL. You get an all-in-one marketing platform to help drive sales. With things like data-driven recommendations and powerful automation tools. Get started today at MailChimp.com slash smart marketing. MailChimp, built for growing businesses.